Hey, welcome everybody. It's easy. Today we're doing a video. It is the, the beginner's guide to the three star attack. Gonna have to move kind of quickly to cover everything. This is a three part series. This is actually the second version of this video. The older version kind of goes over the same things. It just uh, didn't have the greatest recording quality or anything like that. So we're gonna do part two, take two, whatever. So three things you want to remember for your three star attack. There's three things you're gonna start off with. That's planning, objectives, and priorities. Prioritize. We're gonna go over all this stuff over and over again in the next three videos. So we're gonna kind of move fast today because today we're gonna to cover everything and then we'll break it down a little more in the next two videos as well. So planning. This means to scout the base that you're going to attack. This is pri primarily for clan wars too. So just keep it in that, in that mindset. Uh, so planning, you're gonna, you're gonna scout the base. You want to watch any replays that are out there that you that have already been done on that base. Uh, you want to use the best army for the base you're attacking. I know everyone has their favorite army they like to use, but you have to kind of look at the army that that base requires. Uh, you you want to look at the base you're going to attack and identify its strengths and weaknesses, and then you're going to start specifying different roles for the different troops. And we're going to break down how we're going to set up our army. Because the three-star attack is a lot different than your two-star attack, and we'll go into why here in a second. So while we're in the planning stages of the attack, we are going to set up all of our objectives that we want to try to accomplish during the attack. Uh, one of the first objectives is to pull and kill the enemy clan castle troops. Uh, you need to have objectives for... <laughs> objectives, wow. Uh, for the enemy heroes. How are you going to take care of the enemy heroes, if they have heroes, if you're up, you know, tunnel 7 or above. Uh, how are you going to use your kill squad? That's a that's a word that gets thrown around a lot. We're going to have to go over the kill squad. What funneling is, what tanking troops are. You want to try to take care of all the traps if you can in a ground attack. Uh, the secondary targets would be uh, air defenses in an air raid. Or uh, again, like the traps if you're doing a ground raid. And uh, then your cleanup troops and how we're going to three star the base with cleanup troops and with uh, the defense only troops. Now we're going to prioritize your objectives. The, all these kind of tie into each other. The objectives tie in tie into the planning. The, the prior, prioritizing ties into the objectives. So you, you want to plan A and B for the clan castle lore. Uh, we're going to go over that in a minute. Uh, your kill squad. You have, you have primary targets. You have secondary targets. Uh, you, you want to try to think about your spell placement. What spells you're going to use. Where you're going to use them. You want to assign action points. That's something that we don't hear a lot of, but we're going to go over what action points are and exactly what you want to do during these action points. Then you want to figure out when, where, how we're going to deploy our defense targeting troops. That's a big difference between the three star attack and your two star attack. And we'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, then your cleanup troops and your second kill squad. Though, now the second kill squad is one of those things that may or may not be required. So, let's break down the very first part of our three-star attack, which is the planning stages of the attack. And you'll notice in the background, we have a bunch of different attacks going on. And what we did is we started off at kind of low-level attacks, and we're working our way up. At the end of the video, we'll have uh, a couple of Town Hall 11s attacking. So, it's going to be a wide range of different attacks that you'll be watching in the background. And I'm not going to really go play-by-play -play form. There are a few points that I'll make during the attack, though. So, first thing... You want to scout the base, and by scouting the base, there are certain things that you really want to look for. Because what, what you're scouting the base for is you want to choose what army you're going to use against that base. So you'll you'll look over the base, and at lower town hall levels, you're kind of limited because of the troops that you have available. So you know that it's kind of difficult to to say I want to I use uh, certain troops when you're a town hall five. You're kind of limited. But regardless of that, you still want to look at the base. You want to look at what the base has as far as strengths and weaknesses. If they have really high level walls and really lowly upgraded air defenses, at that point you may choose to use air troops. Uh, and vice versa. If the, if the walls are all level 2 and, and some of their air defenses are maxed out for that particular level, then you want to go with your ground attack. So you want to look at the base. And decide whether or not you want to use, you know, your air air troops, your ground troops, combination of both. And as you scout the base, you also, and this is a really big point, 
You also want to watch any attacks that have already been done on that base. And if they were successful, if they weren't three stars and they were successful, 75, 80%. And you can you can see where they went wrong, but what you're going to do is alter small parts of their attack for your attack. And you want to use the same troops, use the same tactics, you'll just alter small parts of the attack. So, you know, we call it reinventing the wheel. It's not a clash term, that's a life term, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you are, if there's already been an attack on the base, you, you want to try to do the same attack, just improve on some of the parts that, that they got wrong, and, and that will really help you. And that's a big part of three-starring these bases, is that to not try to take fresh, fresh approaches every single time on a base. Uh, successful clans will attack the same base four or five times, and they'll use the same exact attack all five times, but they may alter one or two troops. They may alter where they put them in, where they use the spells, and eventually they'll end up with a three star because they keep on going at it the same, you know, going at the same base, just a little different way. So that's a pretty big part of the planning stage is to scout the base, look at any replays that have already been on the base, figure out what troops you want to use, and what do you think is going to work on that base. Another major part of planning your attack will be talking to your clan mates, especially if they have a lot more experience than you do. They'll be able to help you out a lot on what attack to use and basically how to tackle the different problems on the base that you might run into. Talk to your clan mates about everything, guys. You shouldn't be the one that shows up and attacks without, without saying a word to any of your clan mates and, and don't be the one to attack without clan castle troops. That drives everyone else crazy. So talk to your clan mates before you attack. They, they can help you plan things out. A, a lot of good clans, they, they have apps that they'll use. They have line apps. They have they have a bunch of different ways that they can communicate with you to help you on your attack. So, talk to them. Okay. This is the part where I'm going to get really specific on you guys. Now, there's so many different ways to three-star. But there's also so many different ways to go wrong. So, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to start off doing something very specific and once you get this down then you'll be able to kind of expand your horizons you'll be able to three star a bunch of different ways but for now you want to try to attack the base just like this so first off you want to pull the clan castle troops that means you're gonna to have to send some troop over the trigger zone of the clan castle pull those clan castle troops out and then send a troop one of your troops outside of any defenses range an archer a small troop uh, in a corner building somewhere outside of any range so when the clan castle, their clan castle troops come out they'll kill off whatever troop you send over the walls to to trigger it a lot of times you'll send a hog rider over the walls or you'll send a balloon into the base it will it will trigger the clan castle troops they'll come out they'll quickly take out the, the hog rider or they'll quickly take out the balloon but now the clan castle troops are out then you'll put one troop off in the corner somewhere and then all those troops that just came out of the clan castle will come will cross over the base towards your troop um, if you have if you have the poison spell you'll put a poison in their path somewhere on the way out there to that archer You have them over there in the corner Once once their troops reach the archer then what you'll do is you'll you'll drop a few troops to distract whether it be a giant Whether it be the golem that will, that will soak up a lot of damage and then you'll put in wizards or other or minions or archers or something to, to take out those clan castle troops so you'll Trigger the clan castle troops, you'll pull the clan castle troops out of the clan castle, you'll lure them over to the corner, you'll kill them off. From that point, you'll actually start your attack. Now, during the planning process, you want to know exactly where you want to start your attack, and, and this, this will vary a little bit, and we're going to go over that in the next video a little more. But for now, just to continue with this thought process, so you, now you've killed the clan castle troops, and you want to start the next part of your attack, which will be putting, putting the kill squad down, and funneling your kill squad into the base that way you can start taking out th these other primary targets which would be the heroes or whatever major defenses they have that you need to eliminate before you put in the the main body of your troops uh, we call the main body which is also your defense targeting troops and then finally your cleanup troops so a big term for your kill squad first of all your kill squad is basically two parts of your kill squad one will be your tanks you may have already dropped them in to kill their clan castle troops but you have to have some tanks which will be high hit point uh, troops that don't necessarily do a lot of damage 
but they will soak up all of the all that damage from all the defenses and kind of protect your your damage specialist or the the troops you're going to use to take out as much of these objectives as you possibly can so you'll drop in the you'll drop in a list for example you drop in two golems uh you, you'll keep them separated as much as possible that way they'll soak up as much damage from as many different directions as possible you don't want to drop them in the same spot because then they'll only absorb damage from one little area so you spread them out a little bit then you put in then, then what you have to do is put in your damage specialists which are a lot of cases are your wizards uh, the, the combination of golems and wizards are very very popular uh, you'll, it, you'll put in golems first all the defenses that shooting at the golems you put in a line of wizards five or six to ten wizards behind them They'll start taking out all these uh, trash buildings all these defenses uh, Then people will send wall breakers into the walls They'll break open the walls and, and now you have a whole side of the base that you have golems that are pounded on the walls getting nowhere uh, You have the wizards that have taken out all those defenses and all those trash buildings on the outside of that one whole wall and then you'll send the wall breakers in they'll break through the wall and now they all go into one part of the base they're going into the base instead of around the outside so you have a successful funnel which is a huge deal you want to funnel your troops into the base once you are funneled into the base uh, you hopefully you've picked an angle going towards town hall that has the a main object all your main objectives right in the way so basically you want to pick an angle going towards the core of the base that have the traps all in the way because if you do a ground attack you want to take out those those uh, giant bombs if you want to take out the heroes so you're trying to put your kill squad into where it takes out those heroes take triggers any of those uh, any of those uh, giant bombs if you have an air raid you want to take out those air defenses and and believe it or not uh, most people will take out those air defenses with ground troops so they'll push those ground troops into the base and I just a little side note. There's so many different ways to do this, but I just this is the uh, this is the best way. <laughs> anyway, so now you push into the base with the kill squad. You have all these defenses shooting at the golems. You have your wizards taking out defenses after defenses. Your heroes are in there right behind them, just going to work. And then you put in your main body of troops. And this is the difference between your two-star attack and your three-star atta attack. Your main body of troops will be your defense-only troops, like your hog riders, like your balloons. And you'll send them in. Most of the time, you'll do what we call a surgical strike. In other words, you'll, you'll pick out defenses and you'll put two or three hog riders outside the walls and they'll jump in two or three at a time on, on four or five different defenses. And those defenses won't be able to team up on, the, on one hog rider because they'll they'll all be distracted by the hog riders that are right in front of them So you have your defense only troops They go in and they start taking out all the defenses So now you have your kill squad in there going to work a lot of times almost depleted by the time that your your main body of troops or your defense only troops come in your defense only troops come in you put them on all these assorted defenses. They all start going to work. You use your spells wisely. Now, if you're using hog riders, you're going to use heal spells. If you're using balloons, you're going to use haste or rage spells. And as they're taking out the base, then the very last part of your attack is going to be your cleanup troops, which that's a part that so many people leave out. But you have to have a few troops in reserve. To put in on key locations around the base that way you don't end up with a 98% because you just didn't have enough time to cover the entire base so because I'm running out of time like always let's just recap real quick we have your planning stage you have your objective stage and then you have your prioritized stage we're gonna go over the next two stages the objective stage and the prioritized stage in the next two videos Hopefully we went over some of the planning stage well enough to where you know you have to scout the base You know you have to talk to your clan mates. You know you have to pick the right army for the base You know what funneling is a little bit. You know what a kill squad is You know that your main body of troops are going to be defense only troops And you know that you have to have some cleanup troops in order to three star Now like I said you can this is done a million different ways But we're gonna focus on this one way for a little while get you guys three star on these bases build up some confidence before you know it these 75-80% attacks that you've been doing for the past life, I don't know, <laughs> past few months will no longer be 2 stars, you'll be 3 star in no time. So I appreciate you guys watching till the end. Uh, watch the next two videos, they're coming out, they should be uh, popping up on your screen here any second. So until next time, it's been easy, take care everybody.